Let's go, Dazzlers. Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Again, I apologize for the quality of this face cam. It looks slightly different. Um, I've bought a replacement camera uh, because my other one has gone and stolen. It was basically left in a bag. It's partly my fault. I, I walked away and I didn't pick it up. And it's not where I left it when I returned. So all my equipment in there is gone. That's what happened. No one broke into my house or anything. You guys are making up all these stories. But I got another camera coming today and I've also got a replacement like vlogging camera. I've bought a cinematic camera for like my sketches over on Daz Black channel to improve the quality of them. And I've also got another camera to replace my face cam. But for now, we're just going to have to use my phone. Which... It's, it, it'll do. So, uh, on Twitter, you guys have been going mad at me to react to a video called Evan. Apparently, it's a short film, uh, and that's really all I know. Uh, a lot of you have been calling it, like, a short horror film, uh, um, which is which is great. I love horror. Let's watch a video! isn't it? That's just so sweet. Someone writing back to you on the desk. I mean, you could text each other. I'm just saying, like, you know, that'll probably, like, get you in less trouble for vandalizing the desks. Just, just text! <laughs> Awfully as you can, the world stood still And the sky opened up Okay, one thing as uh, a filmmaker I've noticed is that <laughs> is there's a character in this that they're trying to not blatantly draw attention to, but I've, and I've noticed it. If we go a little bit back, I think I already know where this is going to go, just by something I picked up on. Okay, so this kid in the background, um, I don't know why, but he is always in a offset shot, and basically, he's reading a gun magazine here, I think I know where this is going, and or if you come to here after he reads the text, he is back again. And if you watch, see his attitude. Fuck you. I picked up on it. Put the finger. Uh, and he's in the same offset shot again. Like they've kept him in focus. I really feel that this kid is very important, and he kind of seems kind of seems like a bit of a, a prick. And the fact that he's reading a gun magazine. In school, which is really odd. I think I know where this is going. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. I may have already spoiled it. <laughs> if I did this at my school, my teacher would beat the fuck out of me with a ruler. <laughs> That's like a whole conversation. What have they wrote? Laugh can't wait for break. Same. What are you up to this summer? Nothing. Cool. Maybe we should do nothing cool together. Ooh. Today's day that Johnny met you. There he is. Oh, man. See again. It's the same student. And now he's watching um, gun, gun videos on YouTube. Oh man, why have this guy have a nasty turn, isn't it? He you see, he just scrolled past a picture of him holding a gun. Okay, all right. What we're gonna do for the next bit is we're just we're just gonna watch the rest of the video without me interrupting, because <laughs> I, I think I'm just giving it all away. Let's watch the rest of the video together. <laughs> Have a good summer. You too. Thanks. Oh, watch out. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> So you like to write on desks? Shit. Yeah, that's what I do.
Yeah, I, I spotted it. I, I spotted it straight away. Spotted it. Spotted it. See, I, I spotted it straight away. Yep. <laughs> Okay. First of all, um, like the video was really good. It was a very clever idea, and my hair has just gone all fun. But am I the only one that found it obvious? Uh, what did no one else notice? The other kid, I noticed it like a, straight away. He stood out to me. That's because I've I've made like so many short films and stuff. Like I I that kid was always kept in focus. He was in every shot. And, I don't know, I just, I just noticed it straight away. How many of you guys noticed it? Uh, let me know in the comments if you noticed it beforehand. The other thing, um, I wasn't expecting is for this, um, bullshit message. Now, Sandy Hook, I think that, that, that was the school that suffered that horrific shooting. And many schools since suffer horrific shootings. They're basically saying that if you pay enough attention to the weird kids, you might be able to stop a school shooting. Like... I'm sorry, I really, I really don't know if it is that obvious. I mean, if I saw a student um, in America reading up about guns and on YouTube watching like FPS Russia, which is like a, a, a gun channel, it's not necessarily, what are you going to do? You're going to call someone and say, oh, that, that guy, he likes guns. He's going to shoot everyone. I don't agree with the message in this video that that's a way to prevent gun violence. The fact... Now, this is where I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> I'm British, okay? Over here, guns, real guns, the only ones you're allowed, again, licensed, and it's so hard to get, is for, like, farmers to have, like, two two gut rifles um, and shotguns, like, for hunting and, like, stuff like that. That is it. Like, we are not, you know, we are not allowed guns, period. When I was over in America and just saw how easy it really was to get a gun and the types of guns you could get i'm sorry you don't need an assault rifle to protect yourself like i know it's in the amendment i know that um you guys have the right to bear arms but against what i get some so i've seen some of these programs where these some people have got an armory of weapons <laughs> like what the fuck? Over here in the United Kingdom, you can literally count on one hand the amount of times a school shooting has happened. And in America, it's a constant threat. And I really do feel, and this is just my opinion, you know, don't attack me for it. I really do feel that there is, it's too easy to access a gun and the types of weapons that they can use and get their hands on, like assault rifles which fire out so many bullets per second, it could just cause more damage. And yeah, it's fair to say, oh, but does, you know, if they get a knife and go in there. But let's face it, if you've got a whole classroom and you walk in with a knife, you're not going to get through all of them with that knife, are you? You're not going to be able to cause a great deal of damage. Someone will end up stopping you. If you walk into a classroom with an assault rifle or a fucking handgun, no one stands a chance until the chamber's empty. Like, you could just take out the whole class. I just feel that... Maybe guns should be allowed, but there should be restrictions on certain type of weapons, like assault rifles, fucking rocket launchers, grenade. Like, no civilian needs that. No civilian needs assault rifles, okay? And, I, I mean, I, I don't live there. I don't know the different guns laws in different states. I don't know what it's like, so feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Don't have a go at me for saying that. Like, I just feel... At the end of the day, that, that message that about you can prevent gun violence before it starts by, you know, looking closely at students. No, like you can prevent gun violence at the source. Restrictions on weapons are, are what needed. Over here, we don't have school shootings. Doesn't happen. You never, ever see it. In America, unfortunately, it happens all the time because you have access to so many weapons and so many different types of weaponry. I feel that's, if you're going to prevent school shootings take guns away and ban them and only give them to people who need them 
That's what it's like over here. That's what we do over here. And we do not have school shootings. So I, I disagree with that last message. Um, and I, I, every time I voice my opinion on gun crime, I get the same response like, you need a good guy with a gun to stop a bad guy with a gun, which is very, very true. I agree with that completely. But if the bad guy couldn't get hold of a gun in the first place and his only result was a knife or a fucking spoon or a baseball bat, he is not going to do as much damage with a, as he would with a semi-automatic weapon. And he shouldn't have access to that, in my opinion. So, all in all, the video was great. It was a great idea. It was really well shot. I picked up on it straight away. Let me know if you picked up on it straight away. And let me know, you know, we are getting too political about it. Let's not argue about this. It's not worth arguing. You know, what are your feelings on the end message there? Do you think that is the way to prevent gun violence? Or do you think it should be stopped at the source? Like, love, cross my channel! And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.